All right. I had an opportunity to look at this distribution in September of last year, and I had an opportunity to speak with the developer about this on my show. And this Linux distribution attempts to turn your computer into a multimedia appliance. I am speaking about the latest release of AV Linux version 601 Dozer, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. I went ahead and I installed this in VirtualBox because I really wanted to have the full Monty here and I wanted to have an opportunity to play with a few of the things that this has. Now, uh, you'll see here on the screen we have Conky and on the right side of the screen we have WBAR. These options aren't enabled when you first install the system. You'll have to actually go into the menus to turn them on. Uh, Conky really doesn't use that much in terms of system resources, but the thing is, if you don't want to have those extra things running, you really don't have to. Okay, and we'll take a quick look at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, you have a power button, a calendar, network, volume control, and a desktop switcher. Obviously, you're probably going to have a lot of applications running at once, so having a desktop switcher is going to come in really handy. Okay, and then on the bottom left, you have your menu with the AB logo on it. And then, of course, here you can configure your uh, system with the uh, AB Linux control panel. Here you have a link to the Nautilus file manager. You get the Ice Weasel web browser, a link to turn on the WDoc right here, which is what you're seeing on this portion of the screen. Quick access to the terminal, and, of course, uh, QJack control. And that's going to come in handy because you're going to need that to use a number of the multimedia applications that come with this distribution. Now, the number of this, the the number of applications that this distribution comes with is broad, so there's no way I'm going to be able to cover this in the amount of time I allot for my distribution reviews. But the nice thing about this is, this distribution has a lot of information readily available to you. In the show notes, you will see a link to the AV Linux website. I'll also throw in a link to the discussion I had with Glenn MacArthur, the developer, so that uh, you can get more information on this distribution. I had a very invigorating discussion with him, and I highly recommend you check out the discussion we had. Okay, and basically this gives you a uh, rundown of what the AV Linux operating system is. And interestingly enough, because this runs on LXDE and OpenBox, this will run on older hardware. Now, I wouldn't, I'd say probably within the past 10 years you could use this on a computer that, that's up to 10 years old, but probably not older, much older than that. He has nice documentation on his website here that is fully illustrated with pictures so that you can get an idea of how to use many of the applications that come preloaded on this. Um, I could scroll down here and you'll see, you know, very nicely illustrated and um, very comprehensive. And on the right side you'll see the W bar, uh, quick access to the control center, your file manager, web browser, the Synaptic package manager. You may want to install something else on this but I can't think of what he failed to include in here because, I mean, this is as comprehensive as it gets. And he went into great detail to describe how he actually compiled and put all these packages together so that they would work great. And so you definitely want to check out the video on that page I just showed you because um, the developer really shows you what this distribution can do. Very, very good video to watch, I might add. Okay, and then uh, you get quick access to a terminal or a terminal as a super user. Uh, QT Jack Control, or the QJack Control, my bad. You get access to the patch bay, an office suite, Cadian Live, patched to the latest version. 
the GIMP, a mixer control, you get K3B, the LC, comp is for all of you guys that like the eye candy, a log out function and a close function that will close the W bar and just get it out of your way. All right, and then of course you have a menu here, but you don't have to access the menu. From there you can right click on your desktop and you will see beautiful open box Steam that gives you access to all the programs that, pre, that come pre-installed with this. And the nice thing about this is this menu is identical to the menu down here. So you'll be able to find everything that you're looking for. A number of applications to get the most out of the system with the inclusion of accessories, uh, audio plugins, audio utilities. It's the mother load. It's all here. You have all of your graphics tools that you'll need for manipulating images, uh, internet tools, even for online and messaging. You get the full LibreOffice suite packaged with this. Some sound card utilities as well. System tools. VST plugins. They just have Festige listed. And I got to tell you guys, uh, if you have any 32-bit VST plugins, Festige is an awesome tool for uh, getting those plugins working natively under Linux. All of you have heard my intro song that I have uh, for my videos, and that was used. I used Festish as a plugin in Linux to allow me to take a clean guitar sound and really distort it using using Windows using a Windows plugin. So this is great stuff. It just doesn't get better than this. A number of video tools with an updated uh, version of Cadian Live is included with this, as well as Sinalera. Uh, also got some uh, tweaks as well, as you will see in his video. All right, and then a few video utilities. Uh, Love CView has replaced Goof CView uh, for accessing your web camera. Okay, some audio utilities. You're going to need to start Jack for many of the applications that come preloaded on this. So uh, he's got that. Uh, there is a quick launch for you, uh, a mixer tool, um, some MIDI tools, and uh, also some patch programs. I mean, a lot. I don't know what a lot of this stuff does because, I mean, my area of expertise is more along the lines of video than doing audio production. But for the audio production that I do, I run FL Studio natively under Linux, and that works out fine for me. But this is great for those of you who are looking for open source alternatives. There's also some demos thrown in that you can try out, and if you feel it's something that you could uh, use, you know, then you can go ahead and purchase those, and all of those run natively in Linux as well. All in all, I just can't sing Glenn MacArthur and his team enough praises for what they've put together here, because now I have this old computer lying around right here that I, I'm actually considering throwing this on just so I can have something to tinker with in my free time. Excellent distribution. It'll run on older hardware, and hopefully it'll bring all of you multimedia enthusiasts years and years of enjoyment. Excellent job, AB Linux team. Mm -hmm.